welcome back. This is the solid color build challenge. I chose the color green. I know that's kind of like cheating because like, you know, you got <laughs> lots of plants. You can just kind of work with that. And that is exactly what I did. I chose the color green because it's my favorite color. So I wasn't being like a total like cheat, right? Because like, I mean, it is my favorite color. So I feel like it, it kind of works. I don't know. If you feel like it's too cheaty, let me know. And I will look into doing another one. And um, I don't know. Um, maybe between like uh, red and yellow. Mainly because I don't want to build another not so berry house. And so I get out of that if I have a Gen 2 <laughs> houses built. So... I actually did not struggle with this challenge at all. Again, it could have been because of the color I chose, but <clears throat> I love Berry Sims. They are adorable and I could play them anytime. And so I've built quite a few houses that are solid color. I've done purples, I've done, you know, white, you know, blacks and like, um, orange, brown, you know, like I've done, if there's a color house, I am sure I have played a berry sim for it. Blue, yeah, I've done it all. <clears throat> so <laughs> I didn't find this particularly difficult. Um, I more struggled with getting the shape how I wanted. So I was kind of going for like an old Victorian where maybe someone who practices Wicca lives like, you know, the good kind, like, you know, um, nature magic and stuff like that, like good stuff. Nothing evil. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what we're going for. Um, it's quite a large house. Um, it could easily have more bedrooms, but I kind of go overboard with the master, which you'll see a bit later on. So I'll tell some stories just while the build's progressing, and then maybe we'll talk a bit more about the build. I don't know. We might. I could rant for like forever. <laughs> so, um, Last week at work, um, probably last Thursday, um, my, like, from my wrist to my pinky and, like, probably, like, the middle of my hand up my index finger has had this really bad pain. Like, it wasn't, like, it was worse last week and early this week. Like, it was really sore, but I've been resting it a bit. Um, <laughs> which it could be like RSI, which, um, I'm not actually quite sure what it what is, but you, it's bad. Um, let me Google it and I could give you a definition, but <clears throat> here we go. So, oh, wow. Relative strength index. So, um, oh no, wrong one. Repetitive strain injury. There you go. Different RSI. Sorry about that. Um, so pretty much, um, uh, it can cause a lot of problems. Um, um, yeah, so that, that's not very good. Um, <laughs> so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do because, um, Obviously, I use my mouse a lot playing The Sims because um, it's the hand that I play my mouse with. So <clears throat> I will probably still do my weekly videos, but um, we'll see how I go with the Jungle Adventures ones. You've obviously um, know what I'm going to do because um, you will have seen it already because this is on the 9th of the... Uh, March and I feel like this is probably going up ooh either in the last week of March or the first week of April so yeah I will have already decided so you'll already know um obviously I don't want to cancel Jungle Adventures but I don't want to like ruin my hand forever so there's that um the other ones I don't know I'll take it slow, take lots of breaks, and we'll just see how I do. Because um, obviously there's not only the recording, but there's the editing and stuff. So, you know, it's what happens when you get old, kids. I'm 24 this year. Man, I'm going to be, gosh, put me in the retirement home already. <laughs> oh, no, please let me retire. I'm tired. <laughs> no, I've got, like, another, like, 50 years <laughs> Uh, unless we win the lotto. 
Although we did the calculations when I bought the house and assuming interest stays fairly similar and my spending doesn't increase, I'll have my house paid off in like 15 years. So there you go. We're on the way to retirement. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> getting there. Slowly getting there. Just remember you're getting there. Although I don't know why we always look forward to things in life instead of enjoying the present. Because like, you know, if you keep on just like going, I'll get there eventually, you know, you, you'll just like not anymore because you'll be like really old and I don't know, dead. <laughs> That's a bit morbid, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, it's Friday night for me though. Um, I just had mac and cheese for dinner. It was like amazing I don't know I love mac and cheese and dad made it so that's even better because I didn't have to make it uh I swapped my cooking nights I normally I used to cook on Fridays uh but that was when I was finishing work at like 3 30 on a Friday and let me tell you it is so hard to like work all day and then get home and cook dinner like <laughs> give your parents mad respect for that because you are already so tired, but you have to cook food. <clears throat> and it's, I imagine it's even more so, <clears throat> excuse me, when you've got kids. Because, like, if you're, like, a college student, say, and you just want to have, like, instant noodles for dinner, you can do that. But, like, if you've got kids, you're, like, you've got to, like... <clears throat> excuse me again <laughs> you've got to cook like uh nutritious stuff for them and stuff like that so like mad pop props to like parents because you guys are awesome like keeping everyone alive <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without my dad I love my dad I mean I love my mom too but I live with my dad well my dad lives with me I it's my house but um <laughs> yeah uh but like oh it's so good to be home on Friday afternoon. But parents do that every day. Like, I need to, like, tell my mom thank you. Because she, like, cooked dinner every day. Single mom. Because my parents broke up when I was, like, five. And, like, oh, we had good food, too. And I don't know. She worked hard. Uh, and this is her ungrateful daughter who hasn't called her in over a month. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you should <laughs> you should tell me to call her because I might have not called her when you're seeing this. <clears throat> no, I'll try to call her tomorrow. I might do that in one of my breaks from when I'm um not recording. <laughs> oh man, but like, oh, parents, they're so you love them, but you hate them, right? They, they, you love them so much because they they mean a lot to you, but sometimes they irritate you. I think that's just family in general. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, talking about things that you love but irritate you. My cat has been an absolute um, poo head. That's a good word. He's been a poo head. And <laughs> my God. God, he's been so annoying in the morning. So, uh, back up a little while ago, a couple weeks ago, he, talking about poo, he took a poo in my bathtub. Like, what cat does that? And so I've been locking him out of my bathroom. And so this morning, I caught him, like, because I've just, like, opened it up. I've caught him scratching around in the bathroom. I'm like, you got to do a poo in there, aren't you? So I had to lock him out again. He's like, what the heck, cat? What is wrong with you? And then <clears throat> the other day, so I've got these like, well, I had these string fairy lights. They're like rainbow. They're really cool. They're like called unicorn lights. I don't know. They're like 15 bucks at like a uh, typo. I don't know. It's a store in Australia. I like it. And, um, <laughs> and like, ah, uh, he was like, he's been chewing on them at night. Like I tell him not to do it. And, like, he doesn't listen. He doesn't quite understand the word no. He just doesn't get it. And don't tell me to spray him with water. He likes water. He's the weirdest cat. He totally ignores it when you spray him. He just doesn't listen. Um, <laughs> the only thing I've managed to, like, get him to, like, respond to is, like, I have this, um, <clears throat> it's like a rolled up real estate catalog. And, um, I like play sword fight with him and 
he like smacks it and gets distracted and stuff with his claws but he just like he wants to play he wants to wrestle it and so like we have to like engage in play wrestle to like get him to stop being like a bum head but <clears throat> I came home from work and I moved my chair to turn on my computer and there's half of the string fairy light I'm like oh my god cat so he has bitten through the wire on this light to get this fairy light off and he's played with it and dropped it on the floor and so last night I'm trying to sleep and he's like doing it I just had to take them down so I took them down last night I was like what the heck cat seriously what is wrong with you like oh man and so <laughs> uh my fairy lights are gone at the moment um my wall behind my desk looks very empty now and I'm kind of disappointed like oh they look so good at night especially with the lights off and like oh they just look so pretty and shiny and stuff and now they're gone so it's like oh man cat what's wrong with you I don't know my cat has some issues I feel like he's like kind of special like um I don't know I feel like <clears throat> Maybe it was the runt of the litter that that kind of special, like, you know, I don't know. I feel like there's something wrong with him. <laughs> he's just, he's not, I don't, you know, they, I don't think there's any, maybe there's nothing wrong with him. Maybe he's just a genuine little poo head, which is the term we're going with, you know? <laughs> oh so I didn't make a list normally I have lists but I've been going free lists but I didn't account on this video being so long like we're only halfway and I've run out of like all my really interesting stories to tell for the week so what else have I been up to oh well I got a lift with someone um to work and I thought she'd forgotten me because she was like late and stuff but she um there was just more traffic lights than she expected <laughs> more traffic lights than she expected so you know that's fine I don't know and um ooh, what else have we been doing I've been playing Terraria I know I'm like oh my wrist is really sore but like listen I've been playing Terraria I've probably only played like two hours or all week so it's not like I'm sitting there playing hours of Terraria, but I don't know. I guess I could have done my videos in that time. Shh, shh. I just, <clears throat> you might not believe this, but it's actually quite hard to commentate over games. I know you hear people say that a lot. Like, <clears throat> you go, you're just playing a game. How is it like, I don't know, not into, like, you know, it's easy. You should be able to do it anytime, but it's not. Have you tried, like, <laughs> do you talk to yourself? To yourself when you play a game do you say interesting things when you play games like obviously you do if you're like talking with your friends but when it's just you and you just like go and like wow I've got to be entertaining for the next like 20 minutes it's like doing like a stand-up routine and you just got to keep on going and then sims of course do things that you don't expect them to do so it's like oh my god and that gets even harder when you're playing games that like um um like there's actual like enemies or like stuff doing things it's like not a life simulation you can't be like hold on let me pause and think guys I, d I gotta think sims and turn off free will you guys are irritating me you can't do that if there's like a boss or something and you still gotta talk and stuff and be entertaining while like playing your game like people think it's really easy to do stuff like this but it's not as easy as you think I I enjoy it don't get me wrong I really enjoy it I have lots of fun but it's very very different than um you know <laughs> uh, just playing a game you know Friday night like I don't know it's just really different um it's kind of hard to explain I don't know maybe I've done a good job explaining it I'm not very good with words <laughs> I suppose we could go back onto the house now because we have progressed a bit I mean we've done like the whole first floor <laughs> Well, second floor, because I don't know why I started with the top floor. I don't know. I prefer doing bedrooms, although I normally start with the kitchen. Maybe. I don't know. I think I normally do. I used to. I don't remember. I don't actually watch my builds. I just, like, I've, I've got a plane, but I tend to just, like, fiddle with my hands and look at the stuff that's on my desk and, like, watch the, like, sound bars go up and down in my audio program. I don't know. I don't watch it as it's plain. Um, 
But we'll do that right now. So it looks like we're working on a bathroom. I really love this jungle adventures mirror. Like it is so cool. Like, wow, loving it. <gasps> That's what we can talk about in a second. Give me a second. Okay, we'll talk a bit more about the build, but I love the master bedroom. I love the whole first floor. I think it's great. Um, <clears throat> There's no green TV, so we don't have a TV. But I did mention earlier that, like, um, I felt like that the Sim that lived here would be, like, you know, into witchcraft and stuff like that. So I feel like they, she could have, like, magic circles here and stuff like that and gatherings and stuff like that. And I thought that would work really well. And they've got the whole garden. I don't know. I, I was feeling it. And I even fit in laundry here. God, I'm good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was impressed that I got laundry in here. I chucked it in. It's like kind of in the kitchen, kind of in the downstairs bathroom. I feel like that kind of works. Um, so we have a laundry and a, like a washing machine and dryer. So I was like, heck yeah, what a champion. I don't know if people actually put their laundry machines in their bathroom, but I don't know. I thought it was the best spot to fit it. So there you go. So... I, I was reminded by the new Jungle Adventures thing. What else is new recently? My first pet stuff. Look, so it's the 9th of March um, when I'm recording this. So my first pet stuff doesn't come out till the 13th of March. So obviously I've only seen the trailer and like what the gurus have put on Twitter. But like, oh man, I'm angry. I'm probably still going to buy it because I really like that fish table like thing. But <clears throat> Oh my goodness, I'm really angry. Like, why would you need a DLC for a DLC? Like, that's ridiculous. I don't know. I just, I feel like, um, I feel like it's too soon. Um, if it was like a year from now, then I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They've listened to what people want and they do that. That's fine. Um, the pets, um, clothing, I feel like, if they want to like introduce more pets clothing and charge for it, I get in. I'm fine with that. But I feel like it should be like in like a, I don't know, uh, a clothing pack. And it can be like, I don't know, five bucks or something. And it just brings in new clothing. Kind of like how the Sims store was in Sims 3. But just have a clothing pack, have it be five bucks. And that's it. And maybe they could do some for like toddlers, elders, like teens. And so we could have a bit more variety. I feel like that could work. But as long as they don't like push it and make it the main thing that they're introducing. I don't know. It just kind of made, <laughs> it just kind of made me a little bit better. Because I feel like I was happy with cats and dogs. I love cats and dogs. I think it's a great expansion pack. But it, we've had pets previously and I'm fine with them fleshing it out more. I think it's great that they're going for quant uh, quality over quantity. I think it's awesome. But it just kind of irritates me. The fact that they probably would have had this pack finished or at least like 90, 80% finished when cats and dogs came out. Like, just based off like the eco living timeline and stuff, obviously had to allow for voting, but they knew it was in the works. They, they knew it was coming. So it just kind of makes me a bit angry because like it was already out. And so you just gave us cats and dogs and then you gave us like, um, this like my first pet stuff. It feels just kind of like they're kind of just grabbing for money at this point. I don't know. It just, it feels really dodgy and I'm sure I'll like the pack and what it has to offer because EA's been pretty on point lately. Um, but like, oh, you know, I just, it feels, a, it leaves a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth because I paid um like 50 bucks and I'm going to have to pay 15 bucks for the, my first pet stuff. So I've paid essentially, um, like 65 bucks Australian dollars, which is like about two hours of my work, which obviously I get more enjoyment out of the packs with that, but like, like more time spent playing them. But I don't know, it just, it leaves a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth because, you know, <clears throat> and I know they're a company and I know they need to make money, but I just feel like it's a little too soon. Like if they'd like listened to the feedback and said, oh, you know, I see that these people really want small pets and they gave us a game pack or a stuff pack that had like hamsters, birds, like snakes, um, lizards, all those other reptiles, frogs, you know, expanded on that, 
given us all these small pads together in a game pack and maybe like I saw somewhere, I think it was on Tumblr, like a pet store. I think that would have been really cool. Um, but now we've got this kind of like, you know, my first pet stuff and now they probably won't introduce birds or other stuff like that because of just how we've reacted, which I think we've reacted fairly reasonably just considering, but like, I don't know. It just leaves me a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll probably have it next week when you're watching it because, like, uh, I'll probably buy it next week when it comes out, but, like, for me. But uh, this is in the past when I'm recording this, so it's not out yet. <laughs> so, yeah, the build is coming to an end. So uh, let me know if you want me to do any other colors. Um, but, yeah, so thank you for watching, and there's some screenshots coming up. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.